What's going on guys and gals? My name is William Clark and welcome to a motherfucking video. So, it's time to remember some shit. Now what kind of shit are we going to be remembering? I have no idea. Oh wait, I do. I'm making a fucking video based on it. So, uh, most likely if you, at some point or another, ended up going to GameStop and getting yourself a membership, most likely, you got a magazine out of it, and it's called Game Informer. And today we are going, or tonight, it's 8.14 in the fucking evening, and we are going to be looking at some Game Informer magazines of the old and the new. Now, just a little heads up, I swear, if I ever get, like, look back at the past, like, this is for Skyrim, obviously, because you can see the logo uh, for Skyrim. Um, I swear that some of the... Uh, the fucking magazines change. Like, yeah, you can look at here and be like, oh, Borderlands 2 or whatever. But then the next time you look at it, it's just Borderlands 3 or whatever. I, I don't know, some new game from this era. I'm like, what? So, usually what happens when you look over here... Um, wait. Skyrim isn't... Skyrim's on the damn cover! It's on the fucking cover! But if you go in here... It's not the main focus. Games Index. Binary Domain. Dead Rising. Dead Rising. Case West. You're not the record? Is that? Oh. I'm gonna get my fucking glasses because I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't really think I look good wearing these things. I look like an asshole. And again, I'm an asshole, so fuck it. I don't care. So, when you open up one of these things, you get a lot of games. You look at the games, and look at the games, and look at the motherfucking games. There's a lot of games. Whew. Level 4... Level 48 in Mass Effect. One of the Mass Effect games. I forgot which one it is, which one it is. but damn. I think it looks like the first one, but at the same time, I don't know. Oh, wait. Nope. Mass Effect 3. <laughs> So, uh, other games, other games, other games, other games, tons of games. <laughs> like, at the time, uh, what I like about looking at these games, oh. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. Oh! Oh! Here we go! <laughs> wow, the Hot Pocket wrapper, or whatever, the Hot Pocket sleeve, took me right to the page I wanted to go to. Skyrim! So it just talks about the game. 200 years have passed since the gates to oblivion slammed shut in the world of Tamriel. It's a very different place. The Empire is blah, 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 Dovakin. Fostro da, bitches. But yeah, it talks about the game. And it talks about um, what platforms it's on, and it, this obviously is different, um, different than now because yeah, it's on PS3, Xbox 360, and PC, but it's also on the Switch, the the Xbox One, PS4, you name it, it's really on there. You know, it's it's becoming the Resident Evil 4 of the video game world. I mean, who the fuck am I kidding? Yeah, Resident Evil 4 is on basically every fucking platform known to man ever since the GameCube days, but, uh, <laughs> like, damn. Names to remember. Alduin, also called the World Eater. Ooh, I haven't gone that far in the game. I don't know. Dragonborn is what it should be fucking called. Like, okay. So I guess in Russia, or the Nordic... I guess, uh, Dova Clint, no, it's Dova Kin. Dragonborn. Whatever. In the language of the dragons, these rare individuals are true dragon hunters. So, they basically give you a lot of intel about whatever game's coming out before it comes out. Uh, and talks about what the game's gonna look like. And even to this day, uh, look at the, look at the gameplay. I mean, little screenshots from the game. It looks fucking awesome. That's because it is. You know, I've played Skyrim. Obviously, on this channel, you've seen me play Skyrim. If not, you definitely fucking should. Um, but that's just one. Now, I got one today, uh, in the mail, and 
you know, this one is new. Oh, I mean, obviously, it's new. I just fucking said so. I just fucking said so. Um, but it's got a lot of new games. It's got a lot of whatever. Um, so, stuff like that. Now, one thing that they used to do... Let me give you a little, little background. Back in the day, um, early 2000s, like 2000, at least last time I checked, 2008, 2009, I don't know when I started with Game Informer, but the older versions of the magazines, they often had cheat codes in them. Uh, one of the games I used to have, well, I, I think I still do, I don't know where the fuck it's at, it's Bolt on the Nintendo Wii. I was got the PS2, uh, PS3 version on uh, digital download. But there would be cheat codes for the game and other stuff. So not only did they have, you know, information and intel about games, uh, I, I think they're actually going back to that now. Uh, not, not the cheat codes and all that stuff, but I think they're going back. Wait, are, did they? Uh, they have artwork and stuff. Okay, yeah, uh, no, never mind. <laughs> Uh, I guess some issues, they go and do a top 10 of whatever. So, like, let's say the top 10 dragons in video games, or the top 10, uh, whatever. Um, oh, this is fucking sad. The rise and fall of Telltale Games. Uh, that's really fucking sad, because I love Telltale Games. They made a really great game, uh, The Walking Dead. And that, I believe they made a pretty decent version of Back to the Future. Um, I've only played part one. I haven't played the rest of the game, but I know part one is a really good one. Or episode one. That's how I do things by episodes. Um. Oh. Sam and Max. Okay, I've heard of that game. Uh, I've heard of those games before. The Sam and Max games. Never never played them, but, though. But how I actually knew about the series, you know, that the company was playing The Walking Dead. And I was like, oh, this is fucking awesome. It reminds me of, uh. The Walking Dead, you know, fight zombies, you know, walkers and all that stuff. There's characters that gotta survive and all that good shit. You know, and, uh, yeah. So, I mean, it's good. It really is. Uh, they actually made a decent version of Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft Story Mode was not that bad of a game, actually. I found it to be pretty decent, at least the first part of the game. Again, I have to do whatever I can to get the rest. Um, but, you know, here they're talking about what's next for the Switch, you know, new games might be coming out. So, really, this magazine is one of the only uh, few surviving physical copies of magazines. Nowadays, uh, you go online, and all these magazines are no longer available as a physical thing, like right here. They're a digital thing, so you can get like in your inbox or some PDF file or something. I forgot how that works, because uh, I've never done that before. I don't want to. Um, but the thing is, I, I guess like in a PDF file, or maybe get it in your inbox, in your email or whatever, and whatever magazine you're subscribed to, you get it in, the, in your email or whatever and you can read it that way but what i like about game informer is that it's physical as well as digital and they should continue to keep it that way because otherwise that's just not right for me because i mean okay let me give you a little background there used to be a magazine called shonen jump oh i fucking love that it gave me a little bit of information about some of the anime style games like maybe hyper dimension neptunia or as an example, you know, uh, or whatever, you know, some Dragon Ball, Naruto, One Piece, whatever. It would have some manga in there, it would have a little bit of anime stuff, it would have, like, basically an otaku's way of, of magazines. Well, they stopped doing actual physical print, and they went digital. And, well, long story short, I don't have any more Shonen Jump, any new ones, because they're uh, physical stuff is gone. And I think all together, this is really sad, um, but I think all together they're gone. Uh, Tips and Tricks. Anybody remember that? Anybody remember Tips and Tricks magazine? No? Well, you should. Uh, I'm about to lay some shit down. I'm about to lay some fats. 
that was a really good magazine because it had tips and tricks. It gave you stuff, kind of like what here gives you a little bit about uh, upcoming games at the time. It had a lot of cheat codes for those who didn't really want a cheat code book, but just like, a, I guess, a magazine. I don't know. But at the time, they had stuff for the GameCube, the PS2, the original Xbox. I, I fucking love Tips and Tricks. I wish they could actually still be in production, um, because I would so subscribe back if I could. Another thing is Nintendo Power, and I'm sure most, if not all of you, have heard of Nintendo Power. Uh, but for those of you that haven't, Nintendo Power uh, was a magazine about Nintendo. You know, they've been since I, I think they've been there since the, the first NES days. They talk about Mario, Zelda, uh, Metroid, Fire Emblem, whatever. Uh, and some other magazines like Game Pro and stuff, but I'm talking about Game Informer here. A, a lot of other uh, magazines, they're either digital only now, or they just don't exist anymore because they stopped printing them, period. And that's sad. You know, I mean, I don't subscribe to much magazines because I don't, I just don't read much. Oh, here we go. Uh, top 10. Yeah, they kind of somewhat still do top 10s occasionally. Um,. But, yeah, I actually think it's a good thing. If you uh, ever go to GameStop, I think the only thing you really need to get is Game Informer. I mean, I think that's it. I mean, I don't know if you can get it without having um, a membership or not. I don't know if you can just ask for a uh, subscription to the magazine. But if you can, get this magazine. Get it. Just definitely get it. Um, because... Let me tell you, it's fucking amazing. Because um, it has so much to offer. Upcoming games and what they would rate some of these games. Um, if you go farther back into the list of whatever. Like games that have came out. Uh, let's see. what. Let's see, is there anything? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No. No. Okay. So Far Cry New Dawn is a game that came out. I don't know when. But... They give it a rating of, like, 7. And obviously, a 10 is what you're looking for. You know, 10 means the best. The concept, graphics, sound, playability, entertainment, replay value. Um, now, of course, it's just their personal opinion on the whole damn thing. It's not exactly, uh, like, some things what I would rate games. Um, like, like, they're rating Apex Legends. The new game is basically a fucking Fortnite, or what, the new Fortnite... Uh, Battle Royale kind of bullshit. Um, 9.25. Now, as a, as a person that's never really seen the whole point of Fortnite or any of that bullshit, I'd probably rate it lower than that. Metro Exodus, I've never played it or seen anything of it. I don't like, I don't know a lot about these newer games. Oh, Jump Force. Oh, yes. Basically, uh, Jump Force, uh, Shonen Jump manga shit. You know, all that, I, I just mentioned Shonen Jump is right here. Uh, because the character is like an ultimate crossover, I guess. Uh, it's like some sort of fighting game, I guess. A beat-em-up or some shit. But, being that it's a fighting game, you know, like, kind of like Mortal Kombat. I, I, is, is it a fighting game? Oh yeah, a fighting game. Um, I love fighting games. I, I love all genres of video games. Um... But seeing that this is like Shonen Jump and anime kind of stuff, I would give it rate it higher. I, I would rate it higher than the six automatically. And I've never played the damn game, so yeah. Crackdown three, whatever the fuck that is. Dirt Rally, Slate Aspire. Is that like some, okay? It's like some sort of uh. Oh yeah, I saw Markiplier play that at one point. I think. I think it was Markiplier. No, someone played Slate Aspire. Um. So there's that. Sunless Skies. So basically they kind of give you a little bit of uh, stuff about upcoming games as well. Now, one thing I do have to admit is kind of a little bullshit. Um, is the reviews archive. Now, oh yeah, uh, never mind. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Ne never mind. Ne okay, never mind. Okay, I 
Just never fucking mind. I just realized it's a review archive. It's not like upcoming games because otherwise, whatever. Because on the Vita, Persona 3 Dancing in Moonlight is already out. And Dancing in Starlight, which is the fifth, I guess, Persona 5, is already out. Now, as a person that's always loved Persona 3, I played Persona 3 FES. Um, I, if I if my PS3 controller actually worked <laughs> to play games, I'd be playing that game right now. Uh, I wouldn't be doing this video. <laughs> but, you know, I, they have a lot of stuff. You know, a lot of intel on some of these games. And they sometimes give you stuff from whatever, like the olden days. Uh, and I always love these. Um, at the end, you'd always have, I guess, some sort of, like, tester knowledge. And here it's like, is it a Pokemon or a prescription uh, prescription medication? Uh, Excelgore. Okay, look, I'm just going to give you a little stuff here. Excelgore is, in fact, a Pokemon. Benasar is not real. At least I don't think. I don't know anything about X and Y or the, the Sun and Moon, but I don't believe it is real. Uh, Celebi, that's a real Pokemon. Celebrex, Medication, Crestor, uh, Dumpery, Dun, whatever. Dumperdun, Dum, whatever. It's fucking medication, I think. Uh, Illumise, that's a Pokemon. Incivic, Genuvia, both, I think, are medications. Lapras is a Pokemon. Levani, Lydia, or, you know, Lydian, uh, Nidorina, those three are Pokemon, I think those four. Uh, Nova Log, that's something like something you fucking hear in Skyrim. <laughs> uh, not a Pokemon. Uh, Quilava is a Pokemon. Spur, uh, Spurava, Spur, Spar. These medication names, I fucking tell you. Uh, Spuravia, Spur, Spur, Spurava, Spur something. Uh, not real Pokemon. Staravia, that is a Pokemon. Tranquil, wait. I think it's a, I think it's a Pokemon. Uh, Starabia. I think it's like the first evolution of Starly, and then afterwards Staraptor. Uh, Tranquil, that's a Pokemon. Trisaur and Ben Blastin, Blastin, whatever. Uh, both those are, I think, whatever. Uh, they're not stuff. They're uh, medications um, and stuff like that. Uh, at the end, it'll give you like some more awesome artwork. So. Based about the game that they're doing. So I think, overall, uh, Game Informer is a really great magazine. You should definitely get it. If you can, um, definitely get a fucking subscription to it. Because it's beautiful. It's awesome. Uh, 12 months, an entire year of this magazine is actually cheap. It's really good. It's a really good price. Uh, if you're going to be using this for uh, whatever. Like, I, I, even if I don't really read as much as I probably should of these kind of magazines... I just have them as, like, to collect away and to also look back on with memories and stuff of, you know, whatever games are out. Because I looked back at... Wait, where, where did I put this fucking Skyrim one? Yeah, I looked back at this one. And when I first started playing Skyrim uh, a couple months back... Yeah, a couple months back. Yes, yes. A couple fucking months back is when I started playing Skyrim. Pretty sad, I know. Um, but when I went back and looked at, you know, Skyrim, I'm like... Ah, these were the days. These were the fucking days, guys and gals. These were really the good old days of whatever. And you can tell that they're all because they're still doing stuff for the old PC, like a World of Warcraft uh, Cataclysm. And they're also doing PS3 and and uh, Xbox and you know 360 and Wii. And they still got the top 10 downloadable content. Uh, the first Borderlands, the Secret Army of General Knox, and all that stuff. Claptrap's new Robot Revolution. Uh, so yeah, they have a lot of interesting ones. I don't wanna, I wanna play Halo Reach, actually. Wait, is that the one that I, I do I have Halo Reach? I have, is, is, is either Halo Reach or Halo War. I'm, I'm gonna take a look right now. Um, I forgot, do we have that? I know, I, I got a Halo game on the 360, an actual physical copy. Oh, Halo Wars! Halo Wars! I got it! I got war! I got war! Yeah, my pants! Yeah! Okay, guys and gals, so, uh, I just wanted to take you down a little bit of trips. Uh, I just wanted to take you guys and gals down 
you know, to a trip down uh, memory lane of some of these old stuff. It, it, they're still in production, don't worry. Like I said, like that's what I, that's why I keep saying, you know, get a subscription to this. Um, I'm not sponsored by Game Informer or anybody that's related to Game Informer. I'm not sponsored by GameStop. I'm not sponsored by any of this shit. You know, I'm just basically saying, get it. Get Game Informer, because it's a really awesome magazine, and probably one of the only couple surviving um, video gaming magazines out there. Yeah, there's like some, I think, Sony stuff, and there's like PC gaming and whatever. But Game Informer, it's a really good one. I highly recommend you get it. I highly recommend that you at least check it out. You know, just kind of give it a little look and, and see, you know, that stuff. So if you like this video, uh, give this video a like. Yes, let's get weird. That's my fucking slogan, I think, for this channel. Let, let's, get, let's get weird. Sonic the Fighters. <laughs> I have no fucking... Uh, yes, I just referenced a really old game. <laughs> uh, Sonic the Fighters, that game. I wish I could actually kind of... I actually... I kind of like that game, but I wish I could kind of forget at the same time. <laughs> a Sonic fighting game. I I'll do a video on that eventually. Um, oh, it's, it's basically a clone of Virtua Fighter 2, but whatever. I doubt anybody's actually paying attention at this point in time. <laughs> it's 20 fucking minutes in. 21 minutes and almost 22 minutes in, so I'm going to keep this short. And don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the whole damn thing. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon down below to get notified of my future uploads and live streams. Whatever the fuck else that I do. Oh, by the way, I have a lot more uh, issues of... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got issues in general. Not just uh, video game issues, but like issues as a fucking whole. As a fucking, as a fucking person. Uh, oh, I, I should do one about Game Center. At some point, um, for Walmart people, I'll do that probably next video. I don't know, uh, but I'll keep that as short as I can. Not like this video is like 20 fucking plus minutes long. Um, but you know, how great is Game Informer? Let's just say it did an entire list of Zelda, a whole fucking Zelda issue of Game Informer. Uh, when it, it's not Twilight Princess, it was um. Skyward Sword, when that game was coming out for the Wii, uh, you know, they did that. They made a Zelda issue. So that's how good it is. And as always, I will see you on the next video. Peace out, people. And bro hoof. Boom. Ah, my face. Your face. Everyone's face. No.